Hi, Kick Friends. Good to be with you again today. We're going to review what we've been talking about for the last several weeks and then move into today's Kick message. So about three weeks ago, we talked about how incredible you are because God created you and you are unique. And then two weeks ago, we talked about how you are chosen by God. You are chosen by God and you can choose God too. And then last week we talked about when you have Jesus in your heart, you are never alone and you can persevere through difficult times because you have Jesus and he never leaves your side. Okay, this week we're going to talk about how God has a purpose and a plan for your life. So let's see what that looks like. I am thinking of a person in the Bible, and I want you to try to guess who it is, okay? If I told you that God sent a man with a purpose and a plan, and he, and a lot of you are probably thinking Jesus right away, but that's not the answer, okay? He, he sent a man with this great plan and purpose, and this man walked around with camel hair and a leather belt, and he ate locusts, which is like grasshoppers, and honey. Would you know who that is that I'm talking about? Well, let's go to Matthew 3, 1 through 6, and watch this skit, and tell me who you think it is. In those days, John the Baptist came, preaching in the wilderness of Judea, and saying, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is near. This is he who was spoken of through the prophet Isaiah, a voice of one calling in the wilderness, Prepare the way for the Lord, make straight paths for him. John's clothes were made of camel's hair, and he had a leather belt around his waist. His food was locusts and wild honey. People went out to him from Jerusalem and all Judea, in the whole region of the Jordan, confessing their sins, they were baptized by him in the Jordan River. Did you guess John the Baptist? If you did, great job! Awesome! You know, God, he created John the Baptist, one of a kind, very unique. He chose him, and he was with him. And he had a great purpose and a plan for his life, and God has a great purpose and a plan for your life too. Did you know that God spoke to the prophet Isaiah and had him write about John the Baptist nearly 700 years before John the Baptist was born? Wow, isn't that something? So I'm gonna to read to you out of John. Where's John? Old Testament, New Testament? Yes, New Testament. I'm going to read out of John 1, 6, and 8, okay, out of our Bible, okay. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify concerning that light, so that through him all might believe. He himself was not the light. He came only as a witness to the light. So when they talk about the light, they're talking about Jesus, right? But some thought John the Baptist was Jesus. John the Baptist was not Jesus, but he did baptize Jesus, which is quite amazing. John came to be a witness for Christ, to tell people about Jesus. And when we go back to John in our Bible, and we move forward to John 1, uh, 19, it says, Now, this was John's testimony. When the Jewish leaders in Jerusalem sent priests and Levites to ask him who he was. He did not fail to confess, but confessed freely, I am not the Messiah. They said, they asked him, then who are you? Are you Elijah? He said, I am not. Are you the prophet? He answered, no. Finally, they said, who are you? Give us an answer to to take back to those who sent us. What do you say about yourself? And John replied in the words of Isaiah the prophet, I am the voice of one calling in the wilderness, make straight the way for the Lord. 
His plan and purpose was to be a witness for Jesus. Okay, now I want to share also in um, Acts. Now, where's Acts? Old Testament or New Testament in the Bible? New Testament, yeah. We're going to go to Acts 1, 8. Okay, and I want to read what Jesus, now Jesus had died and he rose again. And these were the last words that he said before he ascended to heaven. Okay, so let's see. 1, Acts 1, 8. Okay, he said to them, it is not for you to know the times or dates the Father has set by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be my witness in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. You have a purpose and a plan. You get to spread the word about Jesus. What are you going to do about that? Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you. Thank you for the opportunities you bring us. Help us to glorify you. Help us to spread the word about Jesus. Help us to show the love of Jesus to our neighbors, our friends, those in the community, and past. Lord, thank you for your love and your patience. Help us to be what you've called us to be. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a great week, friends.